No other platform delivers visual content as diversely and with the option to scale as Thin Manager. But what about security and control in that delivery? Let's explore some of the features and functionality that makes Thin Manager a safe and secure option for your visualization needs. Under the Manage tab at the top ribbon bar in Thin Manager, navigate to and select the access groups. You can see the access groups that I have set up in my configuration. These groups can be permitted across Thin Manager to access content as you configure. When Thin Manager is initially installed, there will only be the unrestricted access group. You can add them as you might desire or need. Simply select Add and enter the group name and click OK. If you are synced with an Active Directory, you have the option to match your access group to your Active Directory group to associate them for access. Simply click Select Windows Security Group and choose the Windows Active Directory group desired. You can also double click into an access group and select Edit Members to choose from the users already listed in your ThinMagic configuration, even if associated to a Windows AD group. The last feature in Access Groups is the Calc Permissions. This gives you a high-level look at the permissions already assigned to the users, terminals, and locations. Clicking on the Administrator User Group, you can see that the Access Group is Administrator, and Display Client assigned to this group is the Thin Manager Display Client. Now let's walk through how we can use Access Groups within Thin Manager and, and our configuration to serve content to users. Access groups can be used at the terminal, the display client, the location, or even the location resolver. From the left side tree pane in Thin Manager, we will navigate to terminals. I will select one of my tethered terminals and double click the terminal to open the terminal configuration wizard. On the first screen of the wizard, you see a button for permissions. Changes here will force user authentication from the access groups to access content on the terminal. I'll just click OK and then click Cancel. Let's look at the display clients. Again, on the left tree, navigate to Display Clients. Let's open our Remote Desktop Services group and double click on Desktop to open the Display Client wizard. Again, from the first screen of the wizard, you see the Permissions button. Clicking it will again, you'll see our access groups. This allows us to restrict access to that specific display client or applications based on the associated access group. Now let's look at locations. Once again, on the left side tree pane, navigate to locations. I'm going to double click in one of my locations I've configured. Again, from the initial screen of the wizard, we have our permissions button. As with the others, we can restrict our location to only our designated access groups. I will click OK to exit the permissions and using the next button will navigate to the resolver selection screen. Here I can use our access groups to designate resolver actions for specific access groups. We have a force transfer tied to a QR code resolver currently. By selecting that resolver and clicking edit, you can see I have a permissions button here as well. I can change my force transfer to a different access group. I will then click OK and OK again. Now I can add a second instance of the same resolver and give it a different action based on the access group. So I can choose my same demo app QR, but assign the action as a view only shadow. You can see that the access group is unrestricted. This means that if a user scans our QR code, then manager will look at the access groups and perform a view only shadow unless the user is part of the administrator access group. That group will be given the option of whether they want to do the view only shadow or the force transfer as they're qualified by the access group permissions to do both. Access groups allow for Thin Manager administrators to have even more control and security over their content at the application or display client level, the terminal, or location and resolver. Secure content delivered how you want it. To learn more about security in Thin Manager, visit thinmanager.com.